Hello, my name is Miguel and today I'm going to make for you traditional rice and peas. This is not seasoned rice and peas, it's normal rice and peas. We're going to need kidney, kidney, kidney peas or red peas. This is one cup. So you also want to wash it, make sure it's clean. You're going to need some salt, coconut milk, a tablespoon of oil, a tablespoon of oil or butter, quarter piece of an onion, one stack of scallion, and about two garlic cloves. Why we use the garlic? The garlic, when we put the coconut milk in, we we'll let it boil for a while and it helps preserve it. So when you have it in the refrigerator or have it for two, three days, it won't spoil quickly. And a piece of thyme and rice, obviously. The spring of time. Spring of time. So rinse these, make sure it's clean, 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 because they tend to be dirty sometimes. Unless you buy it in a ready mix pack. So wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. And rinse it off. And wash it so you see it. So clean it. You see how dirty the water is? I don't know if you can see, but it got really dirty. So remove this. Add some more water. I'm gonna allow it. To now you're gonna allow it to soak for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So allow that to soak. Now I'm gonna do my least favorite thing. It's a coconut. Look at this. Had a little umpt umpt. This is my least favorite thing. But just hit that. See, I got a little crack. So I'm just gonna just. This you can drink once it's not sour. Taste it. It tastes sweet and nice. So just want to tap it, tap it. Let me give you a tip. With some coconut species of coconut, if you tap it, just barely tap it, and tap it, hold it and tap it, the shell will actually fall off, like how you see this coming apart, and then you just easily take it off. So you gotta know how to kind of tap it hard, you know. You just throw these apart. If you have a rag, put it in this hand. You just put this, but I'm used to this. Let's be careful. Get on it like that and kind of prise it up. Like that. But precaution, use a rag in this hand. I'm going to grate to this. I'm, I'm doing it the old fashioned way because my blender is broken. So, because it's broken, it's going to give me the opportunity to show you how we do it. All the old way. Because I tapped it the way I showed you, it makes this much easier. Just just be just be mindful that you're using a knife and you can slip and it will it will cut you all right so this ring
This is my grater, stainless. This is the one I bought in the store. I don't like using this. If I'm gonna use it one time, I don't use it again. Look, there's rust. Rust. Anyway. Okay, this is the old fashioned way. So I'm gonna grate to this. Even if people today still love doing it this way, but they say it's better. But you know what? I, I did this the other day, and I look at the grain of this, and it's not so fine than if I had blended it. So I believe that some, a lot of the coconut juice is still left back in this when you do it this way. To me, when you blend it, it's better. That's just my opinion. Let's talk a little. I'm for one with proverbs, and I'm for one that's very patriotic. I'm a patriotic Jamaican. However, I believe that we have a lot of habits that we need to eliminate out of our culture, out of our lifestyle, and our peoples. Where some proverbs make sense, a lot of proverbs do not make any sense. Sometimes we have a lot of saying, little saying that all us back in life. That's how I see us Jamaicans. See if I can remember one. <coughs> all right. So once you finish all of them, don't be cheap. Now put blood in the food. You can stop at this point. This was a small coconut, so I'm using two cups of water. This is how it looks like. use this and rinse that off. And just go between the two thick cotton. I'm gonna add one more cup, so that's three cups. Squeeze it. Mm. Let's make sure it dilutes out little. These little spot pieces, I'm going to take them out and eat them. So let's take this and just strain it. I've been eating this coconut. Why is co this particular coconut tastes so nice? It tastes really, really nice. See, look. To me, when I blend it, these look finer. You can't tell me it's a coconut juice, man, like this. Mm -mm. This would be good to make butter. They just want to squeeze it out. And work it. Squeeze out as much as it is as possible. Right, that's it. No. 
now we're gonna pressure cook now we're gonna pressure cook the peas gauge on six for now. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna put it on four. <coughs> this is how the pea should look. After about 30 to an hour soaking. So let's add that and then add the water. just want to make sure that the water is up it's like one to three so you want the water to be at least three quarter way up so I used five cups of water make sure you lay this on properly side of the stove. Whenever you're cooking, I always put the pot, the pot handle on the inside. Let's put this on. <coughs> Once it comes to a boil, we're going to start timing it. Once it starts to whistle. Okay, let's allow that. Once it starts to whistle, we're going to time it for 20 minutes. 20 minutes because we're using kidney beans. If it was gungu peas, it would be 15 minutes. Kidney, kidney beans are a little bit tougher, so I take 20 minutes for those. With the stove, with the stove's gauge on four. See, this is my first book, Jamaica Dinners, and I'm, I'm actually following the recipe from the book. So all the information is in the book. The only difference, though, the gungu bean take 15 minutes, kidney bean take 20 minutes which I'm gonna put this is the seasoned this one in book one is seasoned rice and peas and in book two Jamaica dinner two is one. book two which will be coming soon rice regular traditional rice and peas will be in that one he's working his way to start whistling but not yet all right now it starts to whistle put your stove gauge on four and the time is now 3.40 okay I'm doing the pressure cooker the pressure yeah, pressuring the peas away but some people don't pressure the peas and boil the peas in the coconut milk for about a one hour and a half until the peas is tender and then they add more coconut milk and then boil it again and then add it to eat. Now it's four. It took twenty minutes to turn the stove off. Put it somewhere cool and allow it and allow it to cool. Alright, whenever you hear me say four, it's medium on the stove. Six is medium high. Because I, uh, I keep on forgetting to say medium or... Okay, this, this took about 10 minutes to cool. or put in a different pot. I'm gonna transfer the pot. Now add Alright, so now add the coconut milk.
that was one cup one cup of coconut milk and then turn the stove on Uh, put the stove's gauge on six for now. And once it comes to a boil, you're gonna try it out. Add all the seasoning. We're gonna prep it. Okay, some people add like a teaspoon of sugar, brown sugar, or granulated sugar. But I'm not going to. The less sugar, the better. You don't need to add sugar to this. In fact, personally, I think if you don't add sugar, it tastes so much better. You can add the garlic oil, or you can smash it. If you add it all, just remember to smash it right when it gets off. A piece of ginger to like one index. Good time. Just need one spark of sky. We'll wash these. And then pepper. Okay, it's good to put the pepper in all, but if you don't, you can just put a little piece in. And just now just crush it, crush it. Garlic, you can crush it, but I'm not going to. Yes. Alright. So, yeah, at a time. This is traditional. I'm not seasoning it too much. I've got onion, garlic, and a piece of ginger. It came to a boil, so put the stove skates on low, very low, like that much. Add one pepper, but I don't, so you can add a piece. But it's add one pepper. My previous video showed me I had one pepper. And the salt. This is a teaspoon. If we were cooking plenty rice, or when we had the rice, it should go like this and it's stay. But cover this. Add a tablespoon of oil. A teaspoon of white vinegar. allow it to simmer for, for a while. I'll let you know the time. Pimento seed. Add a quarter teaspoon of pimento seed. Just allow it to simmer. When I said low, I mean very low. Like simmer low. See? Low. Low, low, low. We're going to wash the rice. Measure one cup of rice. Make sure your rice grain is not broken. Some of these bulk rice is to be desired. 
just have to be careful. Now wash it properly. Wash it about three or four times until you see no white. Cup, one cup and a half of rice, white rice. If you are using probably probably could use one cup. Just white rice. Wash it properly. Wash it properly. Three or four times. Alright, that's washed. Okay, this is boiling away. I know. For 20 minutes. Why we do this? Because you want to get this part cooked properly. Right. So turn the stove up and around 4 medium. Add the rice. Wash the rice. piece of pepper just to be mindful of it because you want to remove it maybe you can take it out now because it's probably this part you don't want it to crush it. and the garlic crush it and I like to use it, it should be at least in this so about that far from the right to just cover it like put the stove gauge on four and watch it so once you dry up now we'll go to the next step every five minutes just look at it and check it make sure it's not drying out it's very more time to stick this is where a lot of people go wrong. The objective for this point is to cook off the rice. You have to cook it out. Either you put it on medium high or high and boil it out. If you were boiling for a big family, you would put it on high. Okay, it's been 8 minutes. Check on it. Right now, this, looks, this is how you want to have it look. Now it's been 10 minutes. Put the stove skin down very low. Take a clean bag, wash it. washing and all of that stuff and then we had two cups of coconut milk with all of the seasoning and stuff for it allow that to boil out for about 30 20 25 30 minutes on very very low and then we add the, the washed rice allow it to boil out after we had washed the rice we allowed it to boil out on six eyes and then we remove and we 
once it boils down, you put the plastic over it and put the stove on very low. So that's where we are right now. That's my stew beef right there. So I did it for 17 minutes. So after about 10 to 12 minutes, we're gonna make a first stir. So if you boil it and first now the pack since since anything you're gonna see. So you wanna stir it. Yeah, it's wet now, but don't watch that. Total of 35 minutes. Rice and peas. Turn the stove off. You taste your handiwork. This is real rice and peas. I want you all to see it. Hot. Tastes nice. Let's cover it until you're ready to serve. On very very low, it's been a total of 35 minutes. Um, just simmering it. Not totally, you know, just that last part. Okay, just to show you, this is what the rice and peas look like after it's cooled a little bit. It gets flaky. and peas, you see the peas. Traditional rice and peas. Rice and peas. Traditional rice and peas. So the carrot look pretty. So now let's sample. This is two in one rice and peas and stew beef. It is just as well look. Beautiful. See the carrot? Listen. That was a carrot. Crunchy. 